So Ed Boon tweets a picture of Australia, could it be possible he's about K&R Reptile the movie, and Mechad books has some words about MK2, so do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me on TikTok and Rumble. So yes, today's the day people where we're getting MK, MK combat cast and whatnot, who knows what we're gonna see. But the interesting things, a shout out to Dante, that shout out to Quincy, Ronaldo, so many people. But yes, Ed Boon posed this, and he posed this of Australia when he says, basically that the mk dragon in australia and now it got people really thinking thinking that maybe they're on about reptile as australia is the one place with a lot of the most lizards and then other were like maybe it is kano could it be possible that it is kano that is on about many people do not want it to be kano at all especially with the combat cast today who can tell but the one thing that got me thinking that it might not be is could todd garner post this right on top of ed boone's post well in the comments he posts yes this got me thinking that ed boone is actually on his way to australia as we speak right now he is on his way to australia to talk or see about the mortal kombat 2 movie now the interesting thing about this is really good because it shows that ed boone's going to be heads on with this to see how progress is going what might need changing and whatnot he did originally go to the set him and john went to the set of mortal kombat 95 with obviously as you see in there to speak with the cast to see what's going on in the movie how is it what have they done what's going on what might need changing or what to them looks right or wrong so this to me is very very good because it shows that he wants to be first hand with this now that he has important roles in this film to make sure that the movie is going well and that it succeeds and does better and this to me is really great it's positive stuff because it means mk2 is definitely doing what they said it would to do better but i could be wrong and it might actually still just be kano that is actually the character that they're going to reveal today that he is on the base roster as well it will not reveal but you're going to see him in the trailer as well and i know a lot of people right now would not be pleased at the fact if they saw kano because he's always in an mk game and he's always taking up a spot and sometimes he's just literal fodder he just gets beaten up left right and center by everybody on the roster and it's just ridiculous why have such a character there i know he's, he's an original he's an og but still it's one of them type of things where you're just thinking why vain could add his spot <laughs> but yeah but on the case of that we also go back to the movie now where we see that mechad has basically started promising stuff about how good the movie is going to be compared to the first one and so much more and to me this is good so here take a listen to this shot two weeks already on mortal kombat 2 and <laughs> i'm telling you it's going to be so good it's gonna be so good. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be the greatest video game adaptation film of all time. It's also gonna be, it's gonna be a contender. It's gonna be a contender. I don't wanna to say too much, but it's so good. It's so good. So Mekad is literally really happy with how MK2 is and it seems it's kind of true like what Todd Garner said, how Jeremy Slater said and what Louis Tan has been saying as he posted this and he says this. We did the impossible and we are just getting started. We learned so much from the first film. Just wait and see. Thank you all MK2. So Louis Tan as well is someone else who is saying that we've learned a lot. Todd Garner has said that we've seen all the stuff. We know what we went wrong and what we need to do right. And we are going to get it right. Jeremy Slater said he's not going to upset the fan. He wants to explore that world that is beautiful, that is Mortal Kombat. Make it wild, make it explosive, make it something that no one will forget. And they're all promising the same thing that it will be the best because they're really learning from their mistakes from the first time around and this to me is really awesome it shows the time that they're taking in their hands to do this and if it's possible that ed boone is actually heading to australia now it must mean that they're very positive and very confident in what they're doing so they want the big man himself booney boy and the gang to go and see exactly what the film is going to be like how good it is or whatnot or possibly like i said it could be that it has something to do the comeback cast today and it will be kano who's revealed but if it's not and it's a reptile we get to see that's even better but let me know what do you think of these people 
where do you think Ed Boon is? Do you think he is in Australia? Do you think he's shown the possible teasing of either Reptile or Kano? Who do you think? And what about Mechad Brooks and what the rest of the cast are saying? Do you have a little bit more hope in this film? And can you not wait to see it? And do you think that Ed Boon himself is there to make sure that things are right just like he was in 95? So do like, subscribe. This is your boy Future Boy. As always, don't fuss the peeps. Peace.